crooked, corrupt, criminal crime, boss with cream, cocaine hustler, blowing out the brains of busters, be in my mansion, chilling and healing conjure smoke, counting mad cream, weighing tons of coke, guarded by thugs and rock wallers. I flood the streets with drugs and clock dollars. Niggas get plugged with what my is up, clock guys? Dollars. Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. Got a niche line today that is just fantastic to talk to you guys about. It is called Ode to Italy. And I'm three quarters Italian, as many of you guys know. Love Italian food, Italian products, and, and Italian culture. And if you think about how many great fragrances come from Italy, it's really surprising. You know, forget about the designer stuff, but stuff like Armani Privé, uh, Zerjov, Nasamato, Santa Maria Novella, Lorenzo Villarisi, Profumo Roma, uh, Profumo del Forte, just so much comes from Italy that is, is, is really on a high level of niche perfumery. They've made a wonderful contribution to the genre, and um, there's a lot of underrated ones out there. Oda Italy is a line of fragrances that actually belongs to a hotel on the Amalfi Coast called the Serenus of Postiano. And Postiano is a town in the south of Italy, very close to the um, famous Sorrento and Capri Isle. And Post Postiano is very well known for the art that comes from it. And the actual line of these fragrances was launched by a husband and wife team, a woman named uh, Maria Cersal, who is the daughter of an Italian father and an English mother. She's part of the family that created the Five Star Hotel. And before she was doing fragrances, she was a documentary filmmaker and producer. And uh, her husband, Sebastian Alvarez uh, Marina, is part of the team as well. I believe it's pronounced Marina. Um, he's an Argentinian and he's lived in Spain and Switzerland, but he settled in Rome and he is also a journalist and an entrepreneur. Oda Italy has 11 fragrances in their catalog and what started them off was a fragrance called Oda Italy and that was released in 2004 and that, that fragrance was made really just to uh, commemorate the 50th anniversary of the hotel and um, they they had a really good thing with that fragrance. It's an excellent fragrance, and they got a real top name to do that fragrance for them. Bertrand, Bertrand du Chauffeur uh, is the nose on that fragrance, and they just decided at that point to keep to keep it rolling. Um, I've been able to smell a lot of their fragrances. They're of a very high quality. You know, this isn't some gimmick that a hotel decided to make fragrances and, and capitalize on the success of their uh, of their real estate this is serious juice for those who are really serious about fragrances in the United States I think there are three places to get these uh, via retail you can get them from lucky scent online or scent bar in Los Angeles um, beauty habit online and if you're in New York you can get them from Santa Maria Novella I've done a couple videos on Santa Maria Novella uh, it's a Florence based fragrance and apothecary house centuries old um, they do their own fragrances. I reviewed one called Nostalgia a couple months back. I really like Nostalgia, but they also do do grooming products. And more importantly, their company Lafco, which Lafco is their company, imports a few brands including Musco, Rio, uh, Lorenzo Villarisi, and Eau de Italy. So um, I went there a couple last week. I picked up two fragrances. I picked up um, Piper Negrum by Lorenzo Villarisi, which I'll review next week. Uh, great fragrance, by the way. And I also grabbed, you know, an Italy fragrance. There were a lot of options. You know, I really like Cien Le Ver, uh, their Myrrh fragrance, uh, Baume du Do, their Garden fragrance, Jardin de Poet, which has a, such a great grapefruit note. And uh, what made my decision even harder is that they have a new fragrance coming out in June called Grain, it was called Grain de Joie. And uh, that looks like it's going to be a Fragcom favorite. The notes in that are really appealing, red berries, currant, uh, pomegranate praline you know I'm excited for that so in my mind I was thinking do I wait for that or do I just get a, one of their fragrances now and then you know there's so many fragrances coming out that's on the pole you know there's those two new Zerjo fragrances a red one and a blue one uh, there's the new Amouage that was announced um, earlier last week or this week there's that new Nasamato the last one from that line Blamage uh, and there's two new Aqua de Parma scents a Juniper one that came out and a leather one so it's kind of hard to wait uh, for fragrances in my opinion sometimes you just have to go and get ones that you like and the one that I really gravitated towards is this fragrance Aqua de Chimo. Um I smelled this very soon after it released last year I got my nose on it uh, you know right after it came out and to me right off the bat I said to myself man this smells like 1861 by Zerzhov and 
I thought it was so similar that I actually didn't buy 1861 because I knew I'd be able to buy this fragrance for less money. Um, so let's get right into this fragrance. This is $140 for 100 ml. It's an EDT concentration. As I said, it's a 2013 release by Perfume Alberto Morales. And notes on this are lemon, mandarin orange, and mint at the top. And in the middle, simply neroli and pedigree. And in the base, white woods and vetiver now as far as your presentation on this goes it's a really really nice presentation you've got uh, the box which is aqua de chima uh eau de italy on the top Le, uh, eau de italy la serenus postiano uh ingredients and the notes on the fresh and sparkling a beautifully vibrant time fragrance you've got your notes on the back your barcode uh concentration uh ingredients and a batch code on the bottom of the box again uh same thing on both sides what really and I, I love the box but what I really like is this um this beautiful oh by the way also in the box there is a sort of um a little pamphlet that congratulates you on purchasing their fragrance explains the history of the hotel and gives you a little bit more information uh, but what I really love is this very extremely heavy white lacquer bottle with aqua de chima um, on the front of it it's not a sticker it is actually um looks like someone painted or dyed uh with a stencil so you got blue and then you have the aqua de chima which is the texture of the lacquer you've got a sticker on the bottom uh that gives you the batch code you've got a beautiful very heavy cap that says o to italy really heavy um and, and a really nice sprayer um that that's really really does really really well it's really heavy and the reason they did make these out of lacquer these bottles because they don't want that juice uh to get exposed to light so really thoughtful on their part on the back you've got eau de toilette eau de italy la, la sarah news postiano and the website actually too so uh, to me some people don't like this presentation i think it's one of the best italian presentations i love the bold big lettering uh, i love the bottle i love the whole aesthetic i love the quality and feel of that bottle in your hand it's real solid you, t you can tell you know you have a quality item now as far as the scent um, there's not too much to this scent, and I mean that in the best possible way. This is exactly what you would expect at the top. You have that beautiful citrus, the blend of the orange and the lemon with the herbal mint. Unbelievably light and, and invigorating at the top. Perfect summer and spring juice. And as this dries down, you're going to start to get the neroli and pedigree, and that sort of provides the greenness uh, of the fruit, which balances out the citrus really in perfect harmony and then of course you have the woods and, and the vetiver in the base which i think gives this scent uh staying power just a little bit of pop um this isn't a composition that hasn't been done before but to me it's on the upper echelon of the eau de cologne it's out there i think the three best from this genre if you're looking for like the really well done mint citrus combo you know you can go with this guy you can go with 1861 by Zerzhov. Or you can go with uh, Cedron and Vion by Atelier Cologne, which is a newer fragrance from them. Either way, if you get any three of those, you're not going to be let down. Uh, Selection there by Creed is, is sort of the same theme, but I actually found that to be unbelievably overpriced for performance. Uh, out of the three that I mentioned, I like this one the best. I get better performance from this on my skin than I do with Cedron and Vion. I get great performance with 1861, but that's $100 more for the same amount of juice. And to me, I think they're unbelievably comparable in terms of quality. 1861 might have a slight edge, but not a $100 edge in my opinion. And what's great about these sort of fragrances is the versatility of these fragrances. These are like clean, brand new white t-shirts in the spring or summer. Want to go for a stroll in the park? This is appropriate. Want to go on a date? Definitely appropriate. You know, you have to go to work, a black tie event? You're covered and you can douse yourself in this because this scent isn't going to offend anyone uh, i would categorize this as 100 percent unisex you know if you want to smell clean you want to smell fresh with a bit of zing you know this is a great fragrance for you it's also a great fragrance for every age range when you take a look at how italians do their citrus fragrances look let's be honest they're at the top of the game that's just the reality situation Eau de Italy, Zergio, Profumo Roma, Aqua de Parma, etc. Citrus and lemon is such a huge part of Italy, especially on the Amalfi Coast where lemons can grow to be the size of melons. And um, I think this is a great fragrance from, from that location. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. You know, I would take a point off because uh, it's not the most original fragrance I've ever come across. And just another point because, you know, performance isn't the top of the line. But I do realize this is an eau de cologne and you're not really an eau de toilette, but, but really an eau de cologne in its intent. And you're really not going to get that sort of beastly performance out of a fragrant 
uh, it's like this but um, it's still an 8 out of 10 and the takeaway for me here is to invest more in this house and add more into my collection because I'm very anxious to see how Oda Italy does with fragrances in cooler weather you know some houses have a hard time doing that 180 to make fragrances for different different um, seasons Creed is sort of the big example of that they can do fresh uh, hot weather and warm weather well but they really can't do cold weather all that well so it'll be interesting to see how Oda Italy takes on that challenge um, anyway, thank you all so much for watching uh, this episode of Maximilian Must Know. We will be back next week for sample shopping, and we're going to review uh, Pepper Negrum by Lorenzo Villarisi next week. I'll see you guys very soon. Please remember to check out my blog, MaximilianMustKnow.com.